online courses. I've made a lot of them myself. Well, six, but why should you make them? Take a look at this. This is how much money it's possible to make with Skillshare every month. This is Ali Abdel and he has quite a few courses on there. And this is the amount of money he's making every month. 60,000, 50,000, 70,000, no big deal. You could buy a few McDonald's meals with that, right? So the main reason to make a course is passive income, baby. Once you make it, you don't really need to update it or anything else, it just sits there and and makes you money. Cold, hard cash. Let's take a look at some examples. Skillshare pays five to seven cents per one minute watched. So if someone watches your course for one minute, you get five cents. So hypothetically, if you make a course that's one hour long and 300 people watch it, you will make 1000 bucks. Not too shabby. Look, I currently have six courses on Skillshare. They're pretty good if you ask me. And if I go into my dashboard here, you'll see that the traffic that Skillshare gives you is pretty consistent over time which means that I can create a course once and then one month from now or two months from now, it's going to get consistent views, which means that I make consistent passive income. Of course, 50 bucks a month is not life-changing money by any means, but if your course making skills aren't a dumpster fire like mine, then think about it. You may be making enough to stop working one day per week. That's a free three-day weekend every week your whole life by just making a course. Now, the second reason is that a course doesn't really really cost anything to make if you have a phone. You can use free editing software like DaVinci Resolve and record everything on your phone like I'm doing right now. I'm recording on my iPhone 8, so you really don't have an excuse if you have an outdated iPhone 11. It's pretty easy too. You just sit down, write a script, produce the course, and it flops. But then you make another one and another one, and maybe it doesn't flop. After all, repetition is the mother of skill. And now I can comfortably make 50 bucks a month completely passively forever. That's one dinner per month that I just get to enjoy for free with your mom. Just kidding. When you make a course, you get to tell someone how to do something and get paid for it. Just like being a boss, really, your own boss. Here's a pro tip. Teach how I do something, not how to do it. I got this idea from Alex Hormozzi and he talks about the idea of teaching someone how you do it, not how to do it. If you say that's how I do it, then no one can judge you for teaching something wrong because it's like, oh, that's how he does it, not how you should do it. If you teach how you do something, you own it and no one can give you shit for it. As I've once heard Ali Abdal say, perfect is the enemy of good, so just make the course and don't overthink it. But man, I don't have anything to teach. Wrong. Your ideal client, the one you're going to teach is you one year ago or you five years ago. You're teaching a person who you used to be, who you were before you learned the skill that you're gonna teach now. For example, five years ago, I didn't know how to make a tasty tortilla, but I've experimented with it and came up with a cool recipe that I pretty much eat every day now and decided to make a 10 minute course about it. The good thing about creating a course on Skillshare is that your course can be as short as 10 minutes. That's basically like a YouTube video. I've also been learning Photoshop for like five years now and experimenting with the software and I made a short course about its tips and tricks. It's pretty much the same with all my other courses. I'm making YouTube videos so I figured out how to make my MacBook microphone sound pretty good and also made a course about that. You can make a course about anything that you didn't know a few years back and you know now. Chances are someone's struggling with that thing right now and you can help them. Don't think about what do all of these people need? What should I make a course about? Change it to what did I need one month ago? Or what did I need one year ago? Or what did I need five years ago? And teach that. Teach what you know. Also, don't think that what you know is obvious that everyone else knows it too. People are very smart, but each in their own field. This is kind of weird, but when you know something very well, you might not realize that others don't know anything about it at all. And that's why you should make their lives easier by making a course about it. Your mess is your message. When you solve your problem, any problem, like figuring out how to make a tasty recipe or learning a software, you can sell this knowledge to other people or at least teach it. You can ask yourself these three questions to make it easier to come up with a course topic. Number one, what problem can you solve? Think of literally any small problem, anything you have overcome. Like I've made a course how to create a financial tracker with Google Sheets. There are thousands of courses about that already, but I did it in 
my own way and so I made a course about it. It can be as simple as that. Number two, what goal or what dream can I help someone achieve faster? And number three, what can I create to give someone a shortcut to succeed? Cool, now that I've hopefully convinced you to make a course, where should you make it and how? For beginners, there are really three platforms that I would recommend. Skillshare, Udemy, and Gumroad. Each have their own pros and cons. So Skillshare is where I host most of my courses and it's good because the minimum length of a course is only 10 minutes. However, their guidelines are very annoying and strict. So once you upload your course, you might have to change it up a few times to adhere to their community guidelines if, like me, you failed to read them the first time. Now, on the other hand, Udemy has very loose guidelines and they don't really care what you put in your course. However, your course should be at least 30 minutes long. So if you're planning to make a short, digestible course, Udemy might not be the best fit. But if you make a course that's longer than 30 minutes, you can put it up on Udemy and also on Skillshare as well. You'll only have to do a few modifications modifications because Skillshare has this thing called a class project, which basically encourages students to make something while watching your course. And then there's Gumroad. Gumroad is a platform where you can sell digital products, and a course is essentially a digital product. The good thing with Gumroad is that they're not a course hosting platform, so they will not take a big cut out of your income. However, it has no built-in audience like Udemy or Skillshare. Udemy and Skillshare basically promote your course for you. You. you don't have to do any work yourself. But if you host it on Gumroad, then you'll have to promote the course yourself. But you can set your own price for the course and not have to worry about high fees. So how do you make the course? Okay, now you hopefully know where to put the course, but how do you actually make it? How do you record it? And my best advice here is to not overthink it. Script an outline so you don't ramble and so that there's some structure for your course. Don't think twice about it. Think about how I do something, not how to do something. That way you'll take pressure off yourself to make it super perfect. Then set your phone by the window to have good enough lighting, turn on screen recording if you're teaching through slides or a screen share, and then just do it. Don't make it perfect. You can always edit all of the mistakes later on or re-record something if you failed. I cut out like 80% of the footage that I record because I screw up every single sentence. Now what's important for the course is not really the visual quality but the audio quality. As luck would have it, I made a Skillshare course about how to make your phone's microphone sound amazing. You can check it out if you want to. But here are the most essential tips for audio. Number one, speak close to your microphone. Number two, remove background noise. For example, close all the windows, unplug the refrigerator, remove the battery from your ticking clock on the wall, turn off your AC and so on. And number three, don't rush and try to speak through a smile. That's 20% of the main things that you need to do to to achieve 80% of the audio quality. Once you make the course, you can create a thumbnail for it with Canva and edit the course for free with DaVinci Resolve. When it comes to creating the name of the course, just copy what already works. Take a look at other people that already have made similar courses and just look at how they name your course. You can do this with the thumbnail as well. Take the main idea of the thumbnail and just apply it to your own course. You don't have to invent anything yourself because what's already already working is already there. Next, just upload your course to Skillshare, Udemy or Gumroad, which is free and enjoy the hard earned cash. I hope this was helpful to someone out there and I'll see you in the next one.